वेलकम टू यू युवर्स यू गैस एपीएस यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब चैनल फॉर मोर वीडियोस एंड टू गेट द मोर नॉलेज जन एस एपीएस डी टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट प्रूफ ऑफ डेलिवरी ओके व्हाट इज़ द पर्पस ऑफ दैट आउ वी कैन कॉन्फ़िग वील सी इन क्लास व्हाट इज़ द पर्पस ऑफ प्रूफ ऑफ � before invoice, we have one more process is there in standard that is VLPOD, proof of delivery. Nothing but a, how much quantity customer is received. Okay, based on the customer confirmation, we are creating invoice. For example, I created sale order 10 quantity. Delivery PGI happened on same 10 quantity. Okay, but customer received only 5 quantity. Here, proof of delivery, I am doing only, I am confirming only 5 quantity. Okay. If I am trying to create invoice with 10 quantity, system will not allow us you. Because of, in proof of delivery, we confirm only 5 quantity. So, system allows you only 5 quantity. Okay. And second point, without proof of delivery, system will not allow to create the invoice. Okay. We will see the process and we will see the configuration, how we can do that. First, before that, we'll run the own process. How it will work system. Just I'm creating one order. Okay. I'm creating one order. Now I'm doing delivery. Okay. Now I'm doing delivery. Okay, and PGA. After that, what we'll do? We'll create invoice, right? System allows we are doing invoice. There is no issue here. But here, before creating invoice, we need to create one more step as a VLPOD proof of delivery. Okay. If you want to activate that step, first we need to do some configuration for that. Okay. What are the configuration? Only two steps is there. One is we need to maintain X for delivery item category to activate the proof of delivery. Second, in middle master level, we have one more field we need to check. Okay, these two steps we need to do. Go to slash and SPRO, IMG screen, sales and distribution, sorry, logistic and execution, shipping, deliveries. Here we have the option proof of delivery. Okay. Click on this one. Go to your item category. My item category by over. Here maintain X. Save. Okay. Here we have one more. Is there? This is the region. Okay. In case the difference amount of 5 quantity we are out of 10, we are confirming 5 quantity, right? Why we are confirming 5 quantity? Okay. The region. The region we need to select. Okay, the region we need to select. Okay, SAP standard two regions is there. One is the plus, one is the minus. This is the uh, over delivery. This is the under delivery. If you need one more, you can create your own whatever is that. You copy. You can create your own if you want anything. ZY01. The region, whatever the region. Okay. Next. Next, go to customer master XG02. Okay, go to customer XG02. Sales area tab usually will become central data, right? Sales area tab, ship, sales area under that shipping tab. We have the option relevant for POD that we need to check. Time frame if you want to use it, you can use or else leave it. What is the purpose of time frame after? Create the order delivery PGI. Okay, proof of delivery is not happened. Okay, so system will check this many days. This uh, up to that day, system will not done that. Okay, the system allows to create the billing document. Now, what we'll do? Save. Okay, now we'll create one order. Configuration is completed. What we meant, we maintained X, X in delivery item category and uh, Customer level, we activate, we 
we activated proof of delivery these two steps completed now we will create one order va01 okay three quantity i am taken here now i am doing delivery okay Okay, now I'm doing PGI. Okay, if I'm trying to create invoice, system will throw the error. See here. Go to log, edit and log. See, POD report back not at carried out. That means VLPOD not created for that delivery. Okay, so we need to create VLPOD. Go to VLPOD transaction. This is the enter the delivery number click on enter here this is the option here we need to check this confirm proof of delivery just confirm that save now we can try to create invoice vf01 system allows you three quantity in case in case customer said he received only two quantity in that case how we can do we will create a new, one more sale order We'll create, we are creating one more sale order. So same three quantity are given. Delivery PJ also I'm doing with the same quantity. Okay. Now I'm creating VLPOD with how much quantity customer received? Customer received only two quantity. Okay. That difference amount is one quantity. One quantity you can enter here. The reason is under delivery tolerant under delivery okay the reason under delivery so proof of delivery how much quantity received two quantity okay confirm confirm save if you not confirm if you not confirm system will not allow to create the invoice see here i'm not confirm just i maintain to now i'm saving now i'm saving now i'm trying to create the invoice vf01 see it will not allow you we have to confirm then only it will allow you go to vlpod confirm then save now you, if you try to create invoice system allows you create invoice for two quantity only because of we confirmed in vlpod two quantity okay save we can see the difference amount also uh, you can go to vl02n double click on the material processing here if you see pod difference okay one quantity the order deliver quantity three pod we done only two quantity the difference amount this is the difference amount that reason this is the reason okay this is the reason Now we have one more. Uh, we have some T codes. Is that uh, we can do the we can do confirm from this T code and we can do invoice from this T code. Don't need to go to VF zero one. That how will be? We will see now. The T code is VLPODL. The list of the proof of deliveries. You, now VLPODL. Okay, this is a list of proof of deliveries. So we have the options is there inborn or outborn. So we are going with inborn. So this is the option. If is there any if is there any um, open deliveries nothing but a proof of delivery not done so one of old delivery is there for this one VLPOD not done so it is came this report though uh, if I confirm here automatically it is went green color okay nothing but a VL uh, we are doing in VLPOD right same we are doing here we done here okay if you done here no problem but don't need to create i mean usually we are creating invoice from vf01 right so if i click on create invoice from in this t code automatically invoice will create okay so we can do the process in this t code itself don't need to go to vlpod and don't need to go to vf01 directly we can do two process in this in this t code itself okay we have one more t code is there that is slash n vl pod q the difference is here we won't get inbound 
year we won't get in bond okay we won't get in bond uh, in previous previous uh, take out we have in bond also okay now we'll create one order we'll create one order the difference verified amount also we can see we'll see now now i am creating one order delivery okay now i am creating order delivery pj now i am going to the t code vl pod q vl pod q here select display select documents okay enter shipping point proof of delivery date time okay not at process means which is not created vl pod those del those del deliveries list will get here okay select that confirm so it will create vl pod automatic so if you see here if you click on here if you can see it is confirmed okay and you can create invoice here itself just select and if you want to do the bulk you can do bulk if you have 100 uh, deliveries there select 100 deliveries click on confirm like that we can do at a time here okay in case if you want to reverse the process same go to vf11 this is the invoice save okay now go to vlpod vlpod it is con unconfirm okay just this is the cancel vlpod save okay go to vl09 do reverse so this is normal process okay i think you have read this normal process okay the difference amount we will see now the difference quantity how we can do that so now i am creating one more order delivery so i am creating one more order okay three quantity so out of three i will do pod two quantity we will see how we can verify that so i am doing pj for three quantity the difference amount we can see here itself okay so if you see if you observe I am going to VL 0 to NT code. Okay. Double click on the material. Processing. If you see here. POD. POD. A means. It is relevant for POD. It is relevant for POD. But it is not completed. So you see. No difference were posted. That means. That means. Till now. We are not. We are not created anything here. Not yet processed. Okay. We are relevant for pre-OD but not at processed. A means not at processed. Not what we'll do. We'll go to VLPOD or uh, VLPODL, VLPODQ anywhere. Okay. So now what I'm doing. Here I'm confirming the reason, the difference amount. I'm confirming one quantity. That means VLPOD confirmed one quantity. Okay. So I will not confirm. Here just I will save. Okay. Just I will save. Now I am going to take out VLPODQ. Okay. Verified with difference. Click on this. Okay. Click on this. Execute. We will get that. So click on display here. Now execute. We will get this one. Okay. We will get this one. If you see the difference quantity to right. We are not done. Now if, if you go to the delivery. VL. 0 to n until we will until we confirm system not allows to create the invoice if we see b b means difference reported i mean some difference is there delivery quantity and vlp quantity okay some difference is there until we confirm the status will not complete it will be difference report now we can do from vlp or VLPODQ, what wherever is that? Okay, just I'm confirming. Save. Okay. Now if you see in VL 0 to N, VL 0 to N, the status was confirmed. The status was confirmed. This is the difference amount. 
if you trying to create a vlpod for remaining quantity it will not allows you even if you trying to cancel it will not allows you okay i think this is different right this is not ours okay confirm save now we'll create invoice i think it's not ours right okay we are two deliveries is there right okay um now i'm go to vl uh, vl pod what i'm doing here i'm canceling this i'm confirming only one quantity the reason i given something i may confirm okay save now i'm creating invoice vf01 invoice also done okay now what i'm doing now i'm going to vl pod now i cancel i'm trying to cancel it will throw the error as a delivery is already fully in what if you see the document flow document flow this is the order delivery picking pgi invoice okay the difference amount where the difference is there in delivery where we can see that item level we can see that okay this is the difference amount okay this is the vlpod concept okay so hope you are clear on this t codes and process configuration once again thank you all for watching the videos please subscribe channel for more videos and to get the more knowledge in sap sd and please share it to your friends to get the more information on sap sd thank you all next class i am going to cover as per an credit management and as per an settlement management once again thank you all